Hello there YouTubers, I have made a new system, this is the old one that I had before, which is actually growing pretty nice, there's no problem there at all, I just have to make sure that the pump is working, fish are still happy. This is the new filtration system I had built. Uh, what I put in it was something pretty simple. Um, kind of a fishnet in plastic there. I don't know if you can see from the inside. Oh yeah. Well that kind of stuff there and that that's what's in there. It's acting kind of like a filter. I repositioned my stuff there to make sure everything was under the light. I got two of those now for this. It's, act, it's pretty much better. I before I only had one and it was not acting pretty good. So I had another one and now it's perfect. My parsley is good, celery is good. No problem there. Only the parsley here is growing like this new tomorrow I have parsley for five years now and the celery is always growing I'm making cut all the time there whenever I need some as you can see uh, I trimmed them out pretty good the last time so they're still growing you cut them you use whatever you need and they're growing still I added some uh, lettuce here. Yeah, it's growing pretty good. The color is uh, really nice. There's no problem at all, as far as I know. Uh, whenever there is a problem, I just trim them up and uh, it's fixing everything else. So, this is what I'm working on right now. I'm not doing much videos lately, so I've been working on the new jobs. And I didn't have much time to do anything. But as far as this goes, uh, this is something different. I won't be doing the same as this one. Those has uh, hydrotons in them, and, uh, or flavorless if you prefer. But this one will be different. I'm going to use a floating raft. Uh, same technique as the other. Uh, what I did uh, with this there, I'll show you right on the side here. Uh, this is a shower drain. You remove this part. You put the tube in here. You're going to have a seal in there. And you put that in. And you tighten the seal. I prefer those with the, the stainless steel cap. This is not a, a one the stainless steel cap. It's a, a one which had a plastic cap on. I didn't use it, but I'm just going to use that for an example. So, I'm going to put this in, and after that, I'm going to cut the top of this and put it like this. And on the tip of this, I'm going to put a hose, like this one here. And you can check uh, depending on the tip that you have or where you are. It might vary, but uh, I'm pretty sure you can find a hose which is going to fit any type of... Uh, pop. I think the two liters over here in Canada, two liters and everything are all the same for the tip. After that, once the tip is reversed, I glued it and I added my hose. So you can see here the hose is inside. That's the reverse pop plastic bottle, which I've cut and I placed there. I sent it up so the glue would adhere better and that's just a uh, stick glue there with a gun nothing complicated as you can see on the bottom there there is a, a, a pla some white plastic which is tightening everything together there the PVC black tube there and everything is tight there and after that while the hose is going to drain and this hose is attached to a pump 
with the fish and it's coming over here and this is a smaller one which is my overflow protection which is going to another one so instead of having a hose going straight 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 I said well why not just put it right there I had a, a piece of tubing there that I needed to get rid of so that's perfect after that once everything is glued in and attached you just uh, put this on the bottom and you add this one here on top of that and you go underneath and you screw that in basically it's very easy to do anybody can do that it's uh, cheap the cheapest and easiest way to do it if you have extra material at home it's even cheaper so here I have used a knife when I cut all my holes and uh, this is for a floating raft by the way I've seen a floating raft for hydroponic but why not aquaponic so this is gonna be my floating raft that I'm gonna use and uh, I'm probably gonna mainly start the season there or just simply do uh, I would say salad or something like that there because uh, the bigger your veggies are like uh, celery don't try to grow anything else in celery in that place uh, they're gonna overwhelm all the others as you can see there the salad has a hard time to grow it was able to grow because I cut the celery at one point and, and it started to grow better there but uh, you have to have something that has ex exactly the same height and everything and as you can see here the celery is way higher than all the rest so. what I'm gonna do here is probably just salad uh, smaller veggies there and less problem one thing I've encountered there, which is this problem, it's moving, and if it's moving, it's moving on top of my hole there for drain, and uh, what happened is when it's laying on top, the water keeps on dripping, so at that point, when the water is dripping, I had to do this. I add a little piece on this side, it won't ever move to be honest. Or you can just glue it, add a little bit of glue like I just did there, and um, so it's gonna grab on and it won't move. So that's what it is, and now it's here. No more problem, it won't attach to it at any point of view that you can look, it's perfect on that way. So the height of my black tube will be the height of the water uh, so basically same thing as uh, the bell siphon that I got on the other system it's just that I, I don't have a bell siphon that's gonna go all the way down it's gonna stop there because I want that raft to be always on top of things right and always with water as if it's sucking all the water out then it won't work anymore as it should be And uh, what I'm going to be using for that is those uh, net pots that I had on uh, one of my other projects. And uh, those net pots are just going to fit in there like this. I also had a problem when I was cutting my holes. I could, you know, you cannot have a perfect circle there uh, with a blade because uh, you got about that thick of material to go through. So eventually your blade is going to go like this or like this or it's going to have an angle. So what I decided to do there is on one side, I added like not an exact 45 degree there, but a, an angle. I would say around 45 degrees and now I can place my net pots in uh, much more easier. And uh, I'm probably going to put, uh, put in some tomatoes. Because uh, one of my friends asked me for some tomatoes uh, seedling there to start uh, his garden in the next few weeks. So uh, that's what I'm going to do. And uh, 
I'm going to be using whatever I had on hand there. So in this case, uh, rock wool it is. Bought that on the internet several years. Stone wool, sorry. Stone or rock. Well, it's not the same thing. Stone and rock, right? And uh, yeah, that's what I'm going to do. And uh, those seedlings are already started. They're about that high there, maybe half an inch or something. And um, I'm going to add them there today. I only got one light for now. Same light as those here. Uh, they have uh, T8, full spectrum, uh, daylight, uh, 6500K. Bought them at Walmart. This, this is the cheapest I can get over here because most, most of the other places are too expensive. It's not making any sense. So, that's what it is. I'll keep you posted on uh, whatever happened with this.